Liz join us? Yes, Katie, you're up. So the first yes, question is Katie. It's from Henry. Henry right. Chisholm. Hey, thank you, uh, Hey, Katie. Uh, just curious what your impression of the first day of practice was. Uh, how did it go? How did you personally feel? And what did you see from everybody around you? You cut off a little bit, but I know for a fact that you said how was the first practice. So first practice was great. It can be way better, you know, at always. You never can do perfect. But also, you know, it's some, it's some things that we need to fix every day. You know, it's never a perfect day. So I feel like practice was okay, great day. You know, it's first time getting your feet wet from some guys, but I also know that we, we're going to get better. Hart Hey, KD. Uh, so I know it was just the first day, but – you know, having been here under two other previous head coaches, um, first day of practice, so uh, what's the difference between a Carl Durrell practice and, say, a Mel Tucker practice? Oh, we don't, we don't compare. We don't compare. We're just glad that Coach Durrell got the opportunity to get the job. And, you know, we we, op we we very happy that we can finally practice. Now, you know, we didn't have a spring practice. We didn't have, a, like, a, a regular year that we wish we could have. But also, I'm glad that Coach Durrell – had a first practice today. I'm also glad that the team was able to see how he coached in a first practice. Okay, Brian L. KD, a couple questions for you. First off, um, what are your thoughts on going into sort of a bubble-like situation at the hotel? And then secondly, can you talk about what you've done to stay ready over the last uh, couple of months? Oh, yes, sir. You know, I'm, I, uh, I'm really thankful for our sprint staff, our training staff. You know, they've been keeping us locked down, locked in, you know, staying away from people, telling us that, hey, it's bigger than us. So we know for a fact that we just have to stay home, you know, stay away from people, handle our business in classroom, handle our business on the field and do and do things the right way. But also I think this uh this bubble will help us. You know, it's it's different. You 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 get a chance to be with all of your brothers, you know, it's a hundred of us. So just being in a hotel where you can talk to each other, have fun with each other, love each other, even though it's social distancing. Got to make sure I say that. Even though it's social distance, you still get the time to just have fun and be around each other. And I think within within that, you can build, you can grow a team, you can have a, you know, a great chemistry. And that's something that I think that's going to pay off. Justin Romero? Hey, Katie. Kind of a, a two-parter here for you. Um, part one, just wondering your your thoughts after day one on the, the group of freshmen that came in um, with Montana, Chris, Brendan, et cetera. And and number two, I was wondering if you had any input just on Daniel Arias, a guy that's really expected to to break out this season, what you've kind of seen from him just uh, growth-wise. Oh, the freshman, man. The freshman guys are talented. And also Daniel Arias. I want to talk about all our group of guys. You know, every year it's, 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 it's a train, you know. It's a train. So I feel like the freshman is way ahead of, ahead of how we was because they had more time to be engaged with Zoom calls. You know, when we're a freshman, you don't get the chance to just learn, play calls, all that. You have to learn it on your own. You also have to be ready for day one count. But with this year, how it's crazy with corona, we've been able to Zoom 24-7. That's all our meetings. So the freshmen have been able to get mental reps. And that's something that pays off. So I feel like all our freshmen will be ready, no matter which freshman you say guys will start first or play first. That's not a big thing to me. I just like to, you know, have them ready, have them prepared. And that's something that I really pride myself on this year. And Daniel Arias, as you guys know, DK Metcalf Jr., uh, he's really nice, really talented. I can't wait to see him, you know, all his hard work pay off. I also know that Maurice Bell, Demetri Stanley, and all our other guys are ready to play out too. So I'm just going to keep doing my thing, keep leading these guys and keep showing the way. So I feel like everybody will be ready. This is receiver core that we know that we got to prove ourselves every year. So I think it's going to be a great year. Terry Fry? No spring ball, no proven quarterback, uh, weird off-season conditions. How hard is it going to be to develop the street? in the passing game you cut. totally with the offense. Sorry for cutting you off. Also, I couldn't hear you. But uh, I think starting quarterback-wise, that's, like that's not like a thing that I really pride myself on because I only can control what I can control. That's something that we have quarterback coaches for and Coach Darrell. That's their job. So no matter what quarterback it is, I believe in all three of them. And I know every practice every day, it counts. So today, we're going to learn from all three quarterbacks. We're going to keep repping with our quarterbacks. We're going to throw again later on, you know, just to get some reps, just to get the chemistry. And then tomorrow we're back on the field. And no matter which one start, like I said, we take pride in whoever guy is up there. And that's just even me. If I don't play in freshman's play, I take pride in that they will get the job done. So I just know no matter which quarterback being picked, I know for sure 
Coach Mann will pick the right guy. Back to Hart Pajani. Uh, KD, in terms of a mental and physical standpoint, um, haven't been off for as long as you have. Uh, do you think there was any adjustment on the first day or anything you got to work on heading forward? Oh, yes, sir. So, uh, you know, my, my biggest thing last year, I never think y'all remember, was taking care of my body. Well, the biggest thing this year with Corona going on is mental. Uh, you know, I wake up. I wake up two hours before I was supposed to, just to get myself ready for the day, just to plan myself for the day, just to get my attitude right for the day, just to read my goals for the day. And I know it's probably small to you guys, but just putting on that armor of God, just putting on that armor of positivity, is just you. You don't worry anymore. You just go out there and just know like it's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a, all the things I did in the off season and in the summer workouts. It's gonna pay off to now. So what I do have, what I have done differently, is I feel like wake up, wake up two hours early, take a walk, talk to myself tell myself that I am great, you know, just, just self-talk, self-love. And I think that's what's really going to play a big part because, you know, with these times away from your family, you don't have nobody to really support you sometimes. So just being able to keep your positivity, keep yourself up is the main thing for me. So I feel like just having a great mental talk. But physically, I think just, you know, usually take care of my body, trusting all the guys, trusting our strength coaches, trusting our training staff, and just being the best version of me. Two more for Katie. First one's from Brian Hell. <clears throat> KD, uh, uh, watching LaVisca have some success early on in his NFL career, how much fun has that been for you to see? And then I, I know you always stay motivated, but has it energized you at all to watch him succeed? Oh, yes, sir. You know, LaVisca is my brother, like my blood. Like blood can probably make us closer. You know, a lot of people always want us to compete against each other, but man, we didn't been through some things that people wouldn't even understand. So just seeing him succeed, seeing him break the chain, seeing him break the generational curse, seeing him lead us, seeing him lead me and uh, me and Vontae, it's just something that you can just cherish, you know? Like I said, we this world is full of hatred, but you can start it with love. And that's one thing me and Vizca always try to carry on the other. And that's one thing that we came to Colorado, to bring a difference. So just seeing him ball out, which is something that we're supposed to do. That's nothing new. That's nothing that I'm surprised of. That's I hope that y'all don't be surprised because that's our job. We're supposed to ball. And if y'all get happy, if he's balling or I'm balling, y'all just know that it's something that we naturally do. So it's just, it's just something that we really grieve on that we, we wanted the best out there. And we don't always say that.